I'm here at the Open Air Museum and I didn't really know what to expect when the guy that I'm staying with Airbnb was like, hey, you should go down here after renting the motorcycle. He's like, hey, you should go check this out. You still have time. And holy cow, this place is wild. It's all these churches and like rooms built into the walls. It's wild. Like every place I look at, I'm just like, what is going on here? But it's super cool. And look at these clouds. They're just incredible. I'm so glad I stopped here at my first stop. I walked up to a guide on the way out. He's like, this is the number one place to be. And I was like, dude, this is epic. I've just been mobbing around on my motorcycle. Photos, videos just don't do this place justice. It is so freaking cool. Sheesh. I'm already in love. <laughs> <laughs> it is like five in the morning and I woke up early to go check out the hot air balloons. Obviously what's most important here. We're gonna go drive around so we can see them taking off. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Crazy. Woke up early this morning to see the hot air balloons. They were so sick. Sunrise was gorgeous. Then I went to breakfast with the homie and who I'm staying with from Airbnb. And now I'm gonna go out and about and go see some fairy rocks and <laughs> some other weird rock formations and probably gonna go to Green Valley. Um, so gonna be a lot of time on the bike today. By the way, I hate this sticker. It's so hideous. I tried to take it off, but it kind of doesn't work. Ugly. And these glasses suck for riding. <laughs> I just wind and like crying the whole time. I just went to Imagination Valley, which was decent, not the coolest, and it's hella touristy. And um, so one of the things about this trip <laughs> right now, I got kicked off of my ex-girlfriend's phone plan so i've been trying to figure out how to get service back and honestly just haven't prioritized it so i have no service right now uh so i don't have any sort of data so i'm just kind of like cruising on offline maps <laughs> uh, and i'm about to drive like two hours to go to um the underground city and also green valley so Asked, asked these drivers for help and they gave me some directions and suggestions and stuff. So now I'm about to cruise out and hope my offline maps get me there. So I just rode like, I don't know, 35 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that. And I got to the underground city and I'm gonna explore here. I don't have maps or whatever. So I was like in the general area and I'm pretty sure that I was just riding all on top of it. <laughs> I was like, dude, there's a trail here and it looks like people have walked here, or driven here. So I'm just like cruising around. Um, anyway, I think I found the entrance, parked my bike. And then this guy was like, you want a coffee? And I was like, yeah, I kind of do want a coffee. Super cool to see this. It's like a full, civilization down here they have kitchens and bedrooms and wineries and like everything vent holes kind of reminds me of the coochie tunnels but like different um like way older <laughs> two thousand years more four thousand years older i don't know this is like super old stuff definitely very tunnely and confusing here easy to get lost I don't have a guy, so I'm just like walking around. <laughs> Super funny. <laughs> this place is wild. Just got to the Green Valley, which is green. <laughs> uh, there's all these different valleys here, Red Valley, Pink Valley, Green Valley, and I had no idea about why they have the names and stuff. 
obviously the color, but this one's carved through from a volcanic flow or whatever through the rock. And so it's really green. It's on a river and super pretty. So I'm gonna hang out here for like, honestly an hour or two. Just kind of want to chill, been riding a bunch. Uh, but I also want to get back to like the Pink Valley, I think for sunset. So, but I want to chill. So I'm gonna walk as far as possible, hang out for a while. I actually have a rule, travel rule, or in general rule. If you can cross over a fallen tree across a river, you gotta do it. Cause it's like, so cool. <laughs> Every time I do it, I'm like, that was dope. freaking carved these things <laughs> into the side of the mountain. Church, literally carved into the rock. 1500, 2000, I don't know, maybe started even before then, like 2500 years ago. What? All right, Green Valley accomplished. <laughs> Uh, hung out there for maybe like three hours actually, you know, two hours, it was nice, super pretty, and kind of tired, honestly. A lot of driving, and I have another like hour and some change to go. So I'm gonna hop back on here, ride back, maybe get some food on the way, and then go catch sunset somewhere. So I'm in a little bit of a hurry. I'm gonna make it though. I uh, totally be from however long that took, like an hour and a half or whatever. Cold, these glasses were not cutting it. My eyes were like dried out so heavy and um, windy. <laughs> Helmet sucks. Ah, but I made it back. Right when I parked my freaking car, I got a notification that I was gonna have a call. <laughs> I like sat down at the nearest restaurant and then I freaking got there like, can we reschedule this? And I was like, so I have about 30 minutes before sunset. I'm gonna try to wolf down this food, fly the drone for sunset and then go to freaking sleep. <laughs> Cause I had to wake up at 4.45. Still had air balloon. So full as day. <laughs> ah, this is so crazy to be in a hot air balloon in freaking Cappadocia. It's like the best place to do it. And we went, at one point we were the highest balloon. So we were at 1,050 meters, I think he said, which is like 3,000 feet. Super cool, so amazing. Sunrise, we were so high that the sunrise didn't rise sun so we just kept getting like we kept sinking and the uh, sun kept staying in the same spot and it was just beautiful and I was with this really cool Nigerian couple and um, they were just awesome and so ah, wow awesome awesome just had a very casual breakfast and journaled and drank two cups of these cortados from this gentleman he was like, I was like, I'll get a latte. He was like, cortado? And I was like, yes. <laughs> they were delicious. And I uh, just spent a bunch of time kind of planning out my next couple days because I've been weaning it, but wanted to make sure that I got everything figured out. So today is maybe my last day with the motorcycle. I'm gonna return it tonight. So I wanna like go to a bunch of places that I can't go otherwise. So I'm gonna go to Love Valley and back to Uchisar's castle because I drove through there yesterday and it was cool. 
and um, just kind of max it out before sunset. And then, um, yeah, I see sunset somewhere, epic, and then take the motorcycle back. Sheesh. <laughs> Yo, I don't know if I can get any higher. This is getting a little scary, but we're gonna try to go another different way, but sick. Craziness. What? So there's definitely speed that I just skipped. <laughs> I climbed up, I like, where's the entrance? And I just like climbed up the building and just skip the entry fee, so we'll let that one slide. I hate every other one. This whole saga has been such a trip. Freaking wrecked, like ripped off the fender or whatever, and then was like bumming hard. I was like, damn, they're gonna charge me like 100 euros or 150, and I'm not gonna be able to argue with it because X, Y, and Z. And then I text my Airbnb dude, and he's like, I can fix it. <laughs> sure enough, puts the fender thing back on better than it was before and then i got this thing for like a hundred lira which is like five dollars so wow came out so solid so happy i didn't have to spend so much extra money on this day four here in cappadocia and it's the morning time i just had some toast it's been weird kind of not knowing what to film on this video and like how much to film um I don't want to just be like filming all the time, telling all the stories, like catching the bus last night home, and like trying to hitchhike almost, but catching the bus, and it's like some random stuff hanging out with my land, or, uh, Airbnb dude, and so, um, we'll see. See how this vlog comes together, and but one thing I am enjoying is the tea. And I'm about to take a walk to the Red Valley. I guess it's probably a hike, Red Valley and Pink Valley, and just kind of wander for a big portion of the day. So I was walking along this ridge. It was absolutely beautiful. And I was like, I'll fly it soon. I'll fly it soon. I'll fly it soon. And I just was like, I reached this point where I was like, I'm gonna fly it right now. And I pulled over on this lookout, took the drone off, flew it for an entire extra length battery. So like 40 minutes probably. It was super fun. This place is literally beautiful. I can't believe it. And I think that I just decided that I want to do 30 days of YouTube straight every day and just chronicle 30 days straight. So I think I'm going to do that. And maybe this is the first one. Maybe it starts tomorrow. We'll see. But um, cool realization to have that I was writing down in my journal. I love this freaking thing. Yay! <laughs> Yo, I don't know if this is actually the way down. Um, it kind of seems like it. There was that sign back there, but it's actually also kind of sketch. restaurant up here. <laughs> I saw it on a drone. I was like, what? There's like umbrellas and stuff. That's it. Wow. <laughs> Insane. That's the bishop's chair. The altar would have been here. That's called the protostasis, which is where they kept the, the, the bread and the wine and stuff. 
and then the nave would have gone out there. The main body of the church would have been out there where the congregation were, mm. but it's collapsed. And that's a, that's a second room. Yo, what? <laughs> no way. She's insane. Did you beat eye? I made it out of the cool part and I've just been walking on this flat ground for like at least 30 minutes. I joined this nice Indonesian couple, our sisters, um, who were rolling bags. It was really funny. And uh get a ride. <laughs> nope. <laughs> my last day in Cappadocia, and I think today's gonna be a pretty chill one. I'm gearing up to head to the coffee shop to catch up on work and just kind of get a little bit of momentum. I slotted in an extra day for this, so I probably could have left back to Turkey or Istanbul today, but I knew that I wanted to work, and so I started doing that where I had just like an extra day on top of what I think I need in the city, just to have a little bit more flexibility. So I'm here, I'm gonna go to a coffee shop. It's like eight in the morning. I'm gonna go hitchhike, I think, back to town. Um, and work for a bit and kind of see what the day holds. Very mellow. Probably go hang out with my Airbnb host at his place later and just kind of take it easy. We are out here exploring. What are we doing? Where are we? Uh, we are in the cross church now uh, from the Christian people uh, in Rosewater. Rose Valley. It's my last night here. Yes. Been staying with this dude this whole time. Last night he shows me the most epic places. We go up to the top of the church. We're going in like let me show you this other valley or <laughs> this other place. And so now we're here and it's an epic last night. Thanks, dude. It's been awesome. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> This was the old, old village. Uh, this was my grandparents' home in the first earthquake. The rock fell down and they family died. That rock right there fell. And this used to look like this. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Last morning in Cappadocia. And I want to run back up and do a drone shot from the top of the castle that we were in last night. So I have maybe 30 minutes to make it happen. I'm gonna try to do it. Let's go. Yesterday we went around the backside. There's a road, but it kind of looks like there's also a path up over here, maybe. Instead of going way around, this is way around. <laughs> I'm gonna try to just run up on this side. <sighs> this is definitely a way shorter way. Glad I could come up this way. <sighs> Very steep though. <sighs> All right, this is my end of the trip for Cappadocia. Wow, what a place. Seriously amazing. As I try to navigate this mountain down. <laughs> wow, yeah, seriously. This place is amazing. I didn't really expect much when I got here. I, um, I just knew about the hot air balloons. I didn't know about really anything else. The photos like don't quite do it justice. I mean, I looked up some stuff, but it wasn't like so wow, but wow, <laughs> incredible. So glad I spent five days here. Just kept seeing stuff. So I think most people say you could do it in a couple of days, but extended a bit. 
riding the motorcycle was amazing. Green Valley was really cool. Underground city was so wild. Everything was so wild. Uchizar Castle, this thing, Red Valley, Pink Valley hike, um, Rose Valley. It was just such a trip. So, highly recommend. <laughs> Hopefully, I make it in time for my bus to the airport.